Aloha stampers, welcome back to my stamp class. This is the next card we'll be making. So in your card packet, you will receive a set of card stock um, in pool party, naturals white, pool party, and then a piece of wax paper to cut out your butterfly. For this card, we'll be using the Butterfly Basic stamp set. Um, it comes with all of these stamps, and this is my new favorite stamp set. So let's get started with the stamping. We'll use the border piece in Pool Party. You want to line it up toward the left side of your cardstock. You want to ink it a second time. And this time you will stamp it toward the bottom, horizontally toward the bottom of the cardstock. We'll be using pistachio pudding and the leaf stem. So you want to stamp this toward the right side of your cardstock. I lined up the edge, the bottom of the, the stem with the border. Give it a good press and then this you want to stamp twice. So move it to the left and it'll just give it that light faint image. You want to ink it a second time. Move it further to the left and a little down. So this one, the stem will be a little off the page. And then again, you want to stamp it one more time. Move it to the left. For the greeting, we'll be using baked brown sugar. And the greetings, sending wishes your way. And for the edges, I distressed the edge and that was using the Stampin' Distress tool. So what I did was I just ran it a few times through the distress tool. And you can do it as much or as little as you want. as well. Then you want to get the big brown sugar ink with a sponge and just sponge those edges. And we'll move on to the butterfly. So you'll need your pool party and your pool party paper, your wax paper and a dryer sheet, as well as the butterfly base, butterflies thin that dies. And this coordinates with the butterfly basic stamp set. You 
can get it as a bundle and they do offer it at 15% off if you bundle it. So I will get the Big Shot machine out. We use the magnetic platform, one cutting pad. We'll put a dryer sheet. Your pool party cardstock. Oops. Before the thinlet, you want to put the wax paper. Then your thinlet. Another cutting pad and run it through. From there, you'll get the butterfly. So the die just comes off really easily. You can punch out the extra pieces. So the wax paper just helps the little pieces come out easier. And then you need to take off the, the wax paper cut out of the butterfly as well. Then what I did was I got Pool Party ink. I got a sponge. You can kind of dab it or swirl it around. I made the edges, I left the edges a little lighter. So it's kind of darker in the middle and lighter on the edges. Okay, next I made a little bundle of linen thread and that I used, I found it easy to use a block use one of this is block E so you wrap it around three times carefully take it off of your block wrapped it around a couple times I just made a knot. Okay. And be careful because it does pull one of the edges. There you go. Double knot it. Okay. And you want to trim those edge pieces. can put it all together. You want to fold your cardstock in half at the score line. Then you want to glue, or you can use your snail adhesive, your tape runner. I just prefer the glue. Next, you want to bend the butterfly so its wings are a little propped up. And what I did was I cut, you can either cut a dimensional in half or you can cut little pieces from the edge of your dimensional sheet. You can cut it so it fits on the back because you don't want to see it from the front. So 
So I put it on the top and then the bottom. Just because your the linen thread will be in the middle. So for your linen thread bundle, you want to get your mini glue dots. And you want to take the backing off of your dimensionals. Oops. Right over your linen thread bundle. And that's it. You're done.